This was either 1958-59. This was in Colts Neck, probably, the, I guess it would be the southeast corner of Colts Neck Township, New Jersey. Uh, the time of day was probably 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was a summer day, um, pretty warm, clear, no weather obstructions or anything like that. I was about 8 or 9 years old. Myself and my younger brother were sitting on a swing set, which faced out over an open field, and on the far end of the field was a woods that backed up to the uh, Earl Ammunition Dump, which is part of the Navy uh, property. So it's all secluded and no traffic, no cars, no trucks, no houses or anything like that was around. And we were just sitting there swinging, and we looked across the way, across the field, and uh, Right against the woods, we saw the Jersey Devil looking at us, and we both kind of got scared. We got, no, we got very scared, and we ran into the house. And maybe a couple hours later on, we double checked to make sure that we were looking at the same spot, and we weren't confused with, you know, maybe it's this tree stump or something like that. And no, it wasn't there. We both knew what we saw. We kept on trying to think, well, maybe it was just our imagination or something like that, or. The summer heat, maybe it was like a mirage or something, but we went back to look and stare, like I said, at the same spot again, and we couldn't make out any like tree limbs or stumps or anything like that to, that would look like that. On that occasion, we probably just saw maybe the head, which did look like a horse's head, upper torso, which yeah, it was hard leather-like, and I believe there was like small arms that were visible. That was about it. We were just there staring at us kids and we kind of realized what was going on and like I said, we got scared and ran inside. How far of a distance that was it from you? Maybe 400 feet. When you went back to look at it, did you notice any tracks on the ground or anything? Oh, we didn't go back to the, to, to the woods at all. We were too scared to go that close. Then. <laughs> Had you both been familiar with the stories of the Jersey Devil before this? Oh yeah, because we had older brothers that would tell campfire stories and stuff about it. Did they believe you? No. <laughs> How tall do you think it was? Maybe six foot, seven foot. What about the color? Just the uh, grayish, bland color, nothing uh, remarkable about it. Could you tell if it was hairy or scaly or...? It just looked like, from that distance, it would just look like smooth. So I, I couldn't, wasn't close enough to see scales or anything like that. Uh, did you hear it make any sound? No, definitely did not make any sounds at all. Did you see any sort of horns on its head? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure at that time. Uh, the second time, I can't really say if there was horns or not. I want to say yes, but uh, I can't say 100%. Wings? Uh, on a second sighting, yes. That would have been around 1967. And uh, I had my car ready and we was leaving our driveway, which was maybe three-eighths of a mile long through the woods. And as I was leaving the house, going around a short bend to the right, and as I came around the bend, there it was on the left-hand side of the road, or driveway. and. Uh, I guess it's, I startled it because it just turned and ran into the woods. What did you see of it this time? I saw the whole body of it. I saw the front of it, uh, the back. It did have wings in the back. It did have like a long reptilian type tail. How would you describe the wings? Kind of like bat-like wings. Not very big in comparison to the side of its body. So you know, small wings basically. Yeah, small wings proportional to the body. Was it the same coloring? Yeah, it was a grayish color. Like it was dark and you know, it was nighttime. And probably around early October, so there's still some foliage on the trees, but not a lot. Okay. And uh, anything else remarkable that you didn't catch the first time? No, other than it was fast. Okay. It was gone in a heartbeat. It ran them through the woods? Yeah, okay. just ran through the woods. How long did you see it? Not very long, huh? 
one second, two seconds, it was boom, boom, gone. Again, no noise? No noise. So, you know, I was inside the car with, you know, the typical kid with the radio on. How far away were you from it this time? Uh, this time, maybe 75 or 100 feet. How do you think you'd feel if you saw it again? How would I feel? Yeah. Probably just as scared. I don't think it's harmful because it seems to take off when it, I came around the corner with those headlights on it, so I don't think it would be aggressive. Do you have any thoughts about what it might be? It might be real. <laughs> <laughs> people might think I'm crazy, but I don't want to talk about it because that's what people are going to think about me. Uh, there's hundreds of people who've seen it, so. <laughs>